You don't have to end this life with regret. You don't have to sit at your bedside and wonder what could have been. You can change right now. You can change the direction of your life. You can change the direction of every relationship. But it begins with your relationship with you. Your presence on this planet is no accident and you are absolutely here for a purpose. You've been given a gift. It's your genius and it's intended to bring joy to your life and to lift the lives of those around you. I want you to understand this. If you want to bring out the best in others, start with the mirror. So many people are trying to persuade others, trying to influence others, trying to bring out the best in others, but they're not starting with themselves. It all starts with you. It starts there because when you bring out the best in you, you are very contagious. If a person would sit down and let their body relax, totally relax, and then start to visualize in their mind, see themselves the way they want to see themselves, and see how you'd like to live your life, see yourself living it that way. Okay. Now understand that that's a picture in your mind. When you pick up a book, the book is nothing but a picture that an author has painted in words. Dream my painting, and then I paint my dream. We become what we think about. Now it may be fantasy at first, it might even appear to us as being a lie. Mm -hmm. But if you read it often enough, you'll start to believe it. Listen to me, man. You have a great life in front of you, but your great life is in front of you. It's not behind you. You must come to peace and come to terms with everything that you've ever faced. There are things that have fortified a different aspect of your life because of trauma that happened as a child. You've got to be willing to let go of that and so you can embrace the adult that you are now. You cannot get rescued by anyone but you. Because if other people grab and reach in and try to pull you out, you'll defend the small child you were that was taken advantage of. But if you can look into your past and look at your life and realize that the times you, you were most vulnerable and there was no one there to protect you, that was not a time when you were made a victim. That was a time when you became victorious. You embrace the challenge. It's a test. It's a way to prove yourself. It's a way to toughen yourself up. We can compare the attitude to the aperture of a lens. When you are fearful, that aperture tends to close down, giving you a narrow perspective on the world. If you take in less, you have less to fear. But as your mind closes down, you miss seeing opportunities and coming up with new ideas. But if that lens opens up and expands, suddenly you can see all kinds of combinations and connections out there in the world that nobody else is seeing because of their fearful closed lens, the way they're looking at the world. In this case, the chaos of the world is not something to fear, but something to exploit. This is the source of all creative thinking. That's why you gotta work on yourself. Cause life will send you some curves you cannot anticipate. Whatever you do, you wanna develop technical mastery. You want to be the best at what you do. You want to master it. See, part of, of, of self-motivation is you've got to find something that gives you a strong sense of competence. Well, you become known for that. You develop a reputation of being good at doing that. You set some high personal standards for yourself. You're not competing with anybody else. You're just unfolding yourself to be the best person that you could be. 
I've looked in the mirror every morning and asked myself, if today were the last day of my life, would I want to do what I am about to do today? And whenever the answer has been no for too many days in a row, I know I need to change something. Because almost everything, all pride, all fear of embarrassment or failure, these things just fall away in the face of death, leaving only what is truly important. Remembering that you are going to die is the best way I know to avoid the trap of thinking you have something to lose. There is no reason not to follow your heart. This is the instinct that says, you've had enough. This is the instinct that says, you, you've, you've given it your best shot. You can, you can stand down. You can back off. You can take a knee. This is the instinct that says, you can rest now. Do not listen to that instinct. Do not listen. That instinct is a liar and wants to bring you down. That's the instinct that's a defense mechanism. It wants to give you an out. It wants to run to a little, a little place of sympathy. You see, the path that you're on is up to you. Put one foot in front of the other and start marching. Start chasing down what can be. Stop looking behind you. You are evolved. Those are in your past. And there is nothing you need. There's a period at the end of that chapter. But this chapter, this is your comeback year. This is your comeback moment. This is when you get up. This is your moment in Rocky when you've been knocked down 10 times, but you still won't quit. This is where you get up and you fight and you'll get up before the count of 10. You're not a quitter, you're the winner. <laughs>